open with a word of prayer. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Good morning, Jesus. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you, God, that today will be a good day, that we'll walk with you today, that we'll listen to you, that we'll follow you, God, that we won't give in to our fleshly desires, Lord Jesus, that we'll be disciplined, God, in our actions and in our thinking. I thank you that we surrender everything about us to you to be used for your glory, Lord Jesus. Life is better when we put you at the center. And so, God, you're at the center of everything, every up, every down, every question, God, every concern, every victory, God, everything that we are anticipating. We put you at the center, God. Guide us and lead us, Lord Jesus, and we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, because it's already yours. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. It is time for the faith walk of the day. Today I want to talk about runners. Runners. Uh, in order to be a runner, it takes a certain amount of discipline. Everybody is running in a race, a different kind of race, depending on your assignment and your discipline. Let me tell you one thing you cannot trust in a race, and it is your body. The strength that you need to run goes beyond your body. It is your mental capacity to keep going. That is uh, uh, that is determined by your level of discipline. You'll only go as far as your discipline will take you, as your discipline will carry you. Um, I love Romans 7 and 18. It says, no good thing dwells within this flesh. Your flesh will tell you you're too tired. Your flesh will tell you it's too much. You can't do it. Just get out of the race. Just stop. I'm telling you, it is a trick of the enemy. You must keep going and you must gain strength from your spirit, from your call, uh, that is given by God that pushes you to be your absolute best, not the way you feel. Your feelings will always t let you down. Your feelings are always subject to the circumstances that you're dealing with. So you have to run for something greater than you, your desire to seek and serve God, to, to live your purpose, to walk in purpose. So I'm challenging you today to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep moving forward, to keep running towards your goal and towards your destiny. Even when it's hard and difficult and you feel like everybody else is running faster, or sometimes you feel like like you're the fastest and you have a whole bunch of confidence in you make no provision for the flesh don't put any confidence in your flesh it'll let you down every time my hope is in jesus christ and in what he's called me to do and the strength he gives me and the wisdom he gives me and the insight he gives me all right that is my faith walk for today keep running but keep god as the focus it is 28 minutes past the top of the hour on this thankful Thursday, and it's time for the Get Up Calls. Time for me to welcome y'all to the Get Up Church, 877-242-2426. Welcome to the Get Up Church, 877-242-2426. Call me and tell me how you're feeling today. I pray that you're having an amazing day so far. It's Get Up Mornings. You're listening to Get Up Mornings with Erica Campbell. Time for the Ericaism of the day. Today, I want to read for you Romans 8, 5, and 6. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. Colossians 3 and 2 says, set your minds on things above, not on things of the, that are on earth. Uh, Colossians 2 and 8 says, see to it that no one takes captive to philosophy and empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, not according to Christ. Isaiah 26 and 3, keep him in perfect. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. I can't tell you how important it is to regulate your thoughts and to make sure that your thoughts are on Christ and not on just how you feel. Your emotions will lead you wrong every single time. But when you trust in God, you can trust his leading, his guiding and his love. You can t trust his hand. You can trust his plan. When you seek him and serve him, it, it keeps your thoughts in the right place. And a lot of times when your mind is not on Jesus, it makes you doubt him all the time. Is he really talking to me? Would he really do that for me? Can he really do that? So so you're not doubting you you're doubting God you're doubting his ability and who he is but when you keep your mind stayed on him he keeps you in perfect peace perfect peace all right that is my Ericaism for the day ladies and gentlemen love you and I mean it keep your mind stayed on Jesus and he'll keep you in perfect peace all right regulate regulate those thoughts regulate those desires and make them become subject to what the word of God says to you <laughs> Thank you. 
and Judges 16. The Philistine rulers were devising a plan to capture Samson because he was giving them the blues. Man, we got to find something to do with this Samson guy, man. He, man, is, he killing, is killing man. all our people, man. I mean, man. taking them out, Taking bro. them out. The, the homie guy took a bad one with a uh, jawbone or something. I don't Ooh. even remember. God, oh. What can we do to trap Samson? We got to do something, man. Hmm. hmm. A female. Man. It'll work. And later. So what y'all want me to do? You know, just do your girl yeah, stuff. Just, you know. All right. Be a, all right. Be a girl. You know what I mean? You, and if <laughs> I, it don't work out with Samson, <laughs> holler at your homie, though. Just, <laughs> just say it. Don't worry. I got y'all right, Philistines. Yeah, I got you. Work. Yeah, and I'll no, get. That's definitely going to work. I'll get Samson. And later. Finish these bench presses. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me hold on one second. Are you Samson? Yes, ma'am. Maybe You're you heard so of me. I have. You're so strong. I mean, you know, just a little reps, just some reps. And I love your hair. What do you use? Oh man, I'm Oils using this stuff? new cream called uh this Bethlehem Ovation Cell Therapy. Mm. It's work. It's a little it's it's working. a lot. I mean, I mean, it's working. It's a, got a little shine on it. I feel good about it. Yes. So, uh, what's so up do with you, you always do you always come over here to to where we are? I this is my spot. I'm, you know, I know some people. I got to fight when I come here every time, but you know, I get here. It's I'm cool. Here Fighting's cool. Yeah. cool. So, where's your strength from? Oh, how I get so strong? Yeah, how you get so strong? How I'm like a thousand men strong? Yeah, you kill people all the time. Like, how? <laughs> you all know how Samson get down? Yeah. Well, if you get 10 bow strings, wrap them up real tight while I'm asleep, mm -hmm. put them on me, mm -hmm. I can't even do nothing. I'd be weak as a regular dude. Really? Yep. And later... Samson, wake up! Samson! What's going on? What's going the, the, on? They're here! The Philistines are upon us! That was nothing. Wow, you beat them all. Look. So it wasn't the horse strings. Wasn't nah. It? You got me oh, looking like uh, a fool. You, I thought you, you said. But I thought you said why you lied. Oh no, I was just playing with you, girl. I well, ain't got no, you, I ain't got no real weakness. You, none at all. Okay, I'll no tell you weakness. the truth. I'll tell you the truth. If you tie my hair real tight and thick braids and run into like a, a braiding machine at the same time, mm -hmm. I will be weak as a regular dude. Really? Yup. Okay. And Later. Samson, wake up! What's going on? Wake up! They're What's upon us! Oh, the man. Philistines! Oh, Your hair! Uh, uh. You beat them again. Did you? Why did? Okay, now you said that you love me and that we was together. I did. And that you would tell me the truth. If you love me, why you keep lying? Uh? Man, it is crazy how every time I tell you what my weakness is, dudes jump out the closet of your why? room and I, try I, to I, jump me all the I don't, time. I don't, I don't, <clears throat> okay. I don't know. I'm just, all right. I'm just asking you to tell me the truth. That's all I'm saying. Truth is, it's my hair. What about it? Well, first of all, it's, I got a cousin and I've kind of, she kind of using a wig line after me. It's called Hair by uh, Samson on uh, Samson.com. You could go to that, Hair by Samson, but uh -huh. Cousin Erica is along. Anyway, my hair has never been cut my whole life. So oh. if you put a razor to my head, I will be, ooh, have me looking like a griff from uh, Jerusalem over there. Really? No hair. Wow, well, you, That's my I, I guess you should never cut your hair. No, nah, I'm probably not just going to look. You already said it looked good. <laughs> it's, oh, my God. Okay. It's just Why would I cut your it? hair is just, oh. Thank you. <sighs> and.
and later. Samson, wake up! The Philistines are upon us! They're here! Hold on, I can't... Bet you won't kill another Philistine now. Eh, hey, here go. Strength go. Bam. 